Today, I'm gonna guide you through the safest way to speedrun the entire back rooms, starting at level zero all the way to the exit. Well, we think it's an exit, we don't actually know. Anyways, buckle up, get out your pens and pencils, and get ready for this speedrun. Let's get into the video, shall we? So I already have done a video on how to speedrun backrooms level 0 through 100. If you want to check that out, it'll be in the description below. But if you want to speedrun from 0 to the exit, you're going to need to listen closely and write everything down. So the exit for this video we're using is a theorized exit in a level called the barrier. Now I did a full video on that as well, but I will go over it in short right here. This level is a strange, anomalous, unique field and forest environment that's found in the back rooms. And inside of the level, one really strange thing happens. Animals from real life, like bears and deer and that sort of thing, seem to come out of deep inside of the woods here and, you know, run around the level. Now, at first, that might not sound crazy to you, but this is like the only level where real animals are actually seen. So they have to be getting here somehow from reality, which means that theoretically the exit to the back rooms is deep inside the woods here somewhere. Now a lot of people believe that this is really the way out of the back rooms, but also some people don't. I, however, believe it's the real way out. So for the sake of this episode, level the barrier is the exit. How do you get to level barrier? Well, let's start the speed run, shall we? So this speedrun is going to require us to go through the first 10 levels in a row, buckle up, and I'll tell you how to do that fast. Obviously, first off, you're going to be in level 0, and you're going to want to run around until you find a wall that you can glitch into, or no clip into, and just run through it, jump inside of it, and you'll be sent to level 1. You probably already knew that. When you get sent to level 1, wake up as fast as possible and sprint around this building until you find a hallway. And inside this hallway, you're actually going to be looking for a door that's unlocked. Now, most of the doors here are going to be locked, but you got to find one that opens up and is unlocked. When you do that, open it up, run through it, and you should be in level 2. Now, this level 2 area is kind of dangerous, so watch out. There's like a chance of entities chasing you, and it's kind of hot and steamy. But other than that, when you wake up here, you're going to need to run until you find another door. This one should be labeled Fire Exit. Once you find the Fire Exit door, open it up and go inside, and this will take you to level 3. Now, level 3 is also sort of dangerous because of the entities and the layout being crazy, but you'll need to run around until you find another door labeled Office sector so that's three doors in a row and this one is labeled office sector when you find that open it up or run through it but i do want to warn you that this door might be pretty difficult to find especially if you're being chased by creatures but the best way to find it is by running as straight as possible here on level three and then yeah you might luck into finding it then once you do find it run through it and you'll be sent to level four now, you can finally rest for a second, because level 4 is safe, it's an empty office building type area, and you can rest here and get almond water and food and that kind of thing, which I completely recommend doing, because you're going to need all the strength you have for what's coming later. So after you've rested up and restocked, you're going to want to walk deeper into level 4 until you find a fancy, ornate, out of place, old looking door in the wall. You're going to find that door, open it up, and you'll walk directly into level 5. Which of course, is the Terror Hotel. Now on this level, you're gonna need to watch out for death moths. That's the main danger, and they're everywhere, so just don't go anywhere dark. And when you do get here, you're gonna wanna run until you find an elevator, get inside the elevator, and press a button that says Boiler Room. And this button should take you to the very bottom of the level. Once you're in this boiler room, you're gonna wanna run as deep as you can into it. So once you get out of that elevator, sprint as far away from it as you can, and just run deeper and deeper into this boiler room. Eventually, by doing this, you'll be sent to level 6. Now, level 6 has no light. Like, none. And your flashlight also won't work, so you're gonna wanna shuffle around until you find a flat wall. When you find that wall, touch it, and then you can kinda follow it in a straight pattern for as far as you can, by, you know, tracing where you're going with your hands. And once you do that for long enough, you should run into a slightly glowing hole in the ground. And then once you find it, jump down into that hole, and you should be sent to level 8. Now, level 8 is moderately dangerous and claustrophobic, because it's a huge cave, but you should be fine. All you need to do is find a cavern that goes down pretty far, and then jump into it and hit the ground. Easy as that, right? And once you hit the ground, 
you should be sent to level 9. Anyways, now you're on level 9, so here you're going to want to run around this neighborhood as fast as you can until you find a field off in the distance. And once you find this field, run into it and keep running as far and as fast as you can, and don't stop running once you're in it. Doing this should send you to level 10, which is also a field. The entire level 10 is fields. Once you're in these fields, you're going to want to try to find a pumpkin that's in this grass. No one knows where the pumpkin is specifically or how far it is into the level, but it is somewhere there. You just got to find it. Once you do, grab it and flip it upside down, and that should glitch you to the first huge time jump and space jump in this video. Because once you do that, you'll be going to the very dangerous level of level 666. This level preys on your biggest fears and phobias, and overall it's just a terrifying level, and it's bad. The environment is corrupt and volatile and glitchy, but none of that matters because you gotta stay focused to try to find a way out of here. What you're looking for on this level is you have to find a part of the floor in this hallway that is not completely glitchy or broken, and you wanna just no clip into that part. It'll be one of the only flat, straight parts you can find. Anyways, no clip into that part, and you should be sent backwards to level 195, which I'm sorry, but it's also a terrifying level. But again, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to get you out of the back rooms here. Level 195 is made up of a bunch of blue zeros and red symbols, and it just looks like a bunch of code, to be honest with you. Just streams of code running around. But you're going to need to find a computer somewhere inside of this level, and then open up the command center on this computer. It's said to be somewhere in it. I'm just assuming it's there, but you need to find it. Once you get to the command center, you need to type the command God's help command start reality barrier dot exe and then press enter once you type that you'll be sent to the barrier level all right now you're at the barrier and the worst part is behind you you can finally chill for a second and you can take a breather because the barrier is decently safe However, I would not stay here for too long because you're about to go home. I mean, I, there's no point in staying. Now, when you get here, you'll start off in a field, but you need to look around until you find the woods. And once you find those woods, you need to walk as far into them as you can until you run into the boundary of the level. This boundary is kind of like a world border in Minecraft. Anyways, once you find it, you need to no clip through it. And once you no clip through that boundary, if all goes well, you should be back in reality back in the spot that you no clipped into the back rooms from and you should be home on earth nice So yeah, that was the speed run from backrooms level zero to the exit. Hope you enjoyed. If you have a different method that you think's faster or safer, let me know in the comments. I just use the exit portions of these levels to kind of backtrack and reverse engineer an exit. And I think it's a pretty decent route to take besides level 666 at 195. I think it's worth going through a couple dangerous ones to get out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I love and appreciate all of you. Uh, thank you for your support. The channel is growing so, so fast. I'm just so grateful for all you do. Comment Brugly1 if you made it this far, and I'll throw a heart at your comments because you are a real one. That's it for me. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace and love.